Hello world, human sustainability here. So it's uh, early December, about uh, two and a half hours after sunrise, and I got out here. Uh, it's been snowing on and off with freeze and thaw cycles. Um, on my way in, I came across a tourist who was ahead of me. These are their tracks rolling up. And uh, they turned, they got up there, there's a clearing, they turned around and they headed right back out. Uh, slowing down to find out what I was doing. They were in some kind of a Range Rover or something like that, I don't know. But definitely tourists are going four miles an hour back in here in the snow. I don't know what they're checking out, but I mean, if they're just driving in to turn around, they're tourists, right? So. Uh, I decided to get back out here again. I'm going to do this period periodically through the winter. Um, it's, it doesn't look much different than the last time I was back in here. But like I said, we've had freezes and we've had thaws, etc. And uh, I already got my mutters on because I know what to expect. And uh, let's find out what the trail looks like. So back in here, and I'm not sure how clearly you could see it with uh, the time warp thing I was doing, but lots of tracks, both rabbit and deer, and uh, you know, there was an ATV that came back in here, uh, scared up three or four grouse I tried to, to capture. Um, I, don't, I don't think I saw any moose or bear track, but... Uh, definitely a lot of rabbit, a lot of mole, uh, a lot of deer crisscrossing. Um, there were deer that came right in on the path in, and both old and new. Oh, <laughs> I took off the jacket and the pack, because holy cow, I'm, I am burning up. It's uh, like 25 degrees, but I am. I worked up a sweat, took the hat off, everything, so... Uh, some snow coming down and I'm not sure how clearly you can see the, the track in here but the deer came right up the trail jumped this way came over there stopped decided to go that way turned around and went right back up that way um, at one point one went right down this a ways my tracks are all over the place but came right down this way and right out over into the other side of the property I'm gonna cool down a little bit and then I'm gonna go that away see how far I can get uh, but yeah I mean <laughs> people have been back in here um, animal and game been back in here a lot of stuff down um, Whoever was riding that ATV cleared out a lot of stuff that was in the way. I tried to show that on that time warp, but, um, yeah, getting in and out of here when the snow flies is going to be a challenge. I'm going to have to have at least an ATV and maybe a sled to do it. So, I mean, we'll see. It's like I said, early December, get back up at the beginning of the year and 
take another good look, but uh, here in a couple of minutes after I cools down a bit, I'm gonna try to get out that away, see what I can find. So here I am. This is the lake. Um, there's kind of a horseshoe here that goes up and around. I'm on the furthest west point. Uh, my property line, I think, is right about where that down tree is over there. Uh, I had a heck of a time getting here. And, yeah, I'm not going to be able to get to the eastern side just now. Uh, but the frozen ground and snow has made it pretty easy to get back in, it, at least here. Uh, I'm going to walk you back out with the time lapse on just so you can get an idea of how dense a lot of this forest is. Um, back up in here, back up in there a ways um, where the promised land is. I'll start, I'll pan around the sky quite a bit. There's beautiful, beautiful area in there. It's probably, I don't know, 10 acres or so. And, it, I mean, it's all wild, but some of it gets opened up, and there's a lot of beautiful aspen in there. Uh, but anyway, this is the western uh, side of the lake, and this is mine, all this, and up and around. Um, <clears throat> probably have, from that, that fallen tree right there, uh, I got probably, I don't know, a thousand feet, well... Somewhere between 500 and 750 feet of lakefront. Um, it's obviously frozen. You can see all the snow on it. I'm not going to walk out on it because I'm, you know, I'm a fraidy cat. So, uh, not going to walk out on there. Um, but it's, it's frozen over and I intend to put in a dock and, you know, I'll be able to get up in here and do some, do some fishing. Um, I'm not sure if it'll show up on the video, but... Directly across there, I see a structure that I do not see on Google, so it's rather new. Uh, but from the looks of it, it is a seasonal kind of cottage or something uh, that people probably just come up here. So I, I do not own the whole lake, uh, but I mean, it's very, very secluded. So tough to get to. Um, and hey, who knows, that, that right there might be those people that I saw come in and, and leave. So um, I will, uh, on my way out, I'm going to follow them to see how far they went before they turned around. Because, um, I mean, it might, it might the, that guy and his wife or girlfriend or whatever, it was a guy and a girl, um, they, they may have just bought that. And, you know, city it's moving in up here in the, the north. Uh, but, yeah, lots of pine here. You can see all this spruce and how dense it is. Uh, this area that I'm pointing at now uh, increases in elevation. This gets up to, oh, I don't know, 10, 10 feet or so above the surface of the lake back up in here. And I intend to clear out an, an area up in there and, you know, put in a, a semi-permanent shack uh, that I can use as my fishing equipment outpost and where I can clean fish and, and you know, stuff like that. So um, I'm going to get myself some more water, uh, rest for a little bit, a couple more minutes, and then I will walk you all out so you can see uh, <laughs> what I had to go through to get this far. So thanks.
So that was encouraging. I uh, got up in there to the to the lake, and that was nice. So that was cool. Um, I'm not too happy with the trail that I have back in there. Uh, and I said that I wasn't going to do any more work over the winter, but I am going to get some markers, and I got some orange tape in the, in the truck. I was going to use for the driveway. I'll just have to get more. Um, I'll mark that trail, at least the parts of it that I like, and throughout winter try to find uh, a better way through some of it because some of it I just I don't like. Um, there are water hazards in there that because of the, the ice I was able to just walk over, but uh, <clears throat> a lot of that higher land, that elevated land, is, is just surrounded by uh, forest marsh. So, um, I will have to get a trail through there, and, uh, and that means, uh, I can reconnoiter, you know, while everything is frozen, and get a, get an idea of where I want to put the trail in, and mark it, and then, uh, come next year, I can get back in there with the chainsaw, and take down a, a bunch of those branches, and kind of cut a path through. Um, maybe take out a couple of smaller trees and so on. Uh, but the idea is that uh, once spring comes and I, I have myself a platform over there, I can put a tent in, I can, I can get an ATV in here if I can get an ATV. Um, still kind of up in the air whether or not I'm going to be able to uh, get one. but um, And bring some other equipment in here. And I actually have a staging area in here in the parking lot. Um, I'm excited to start working on the driveway, of course, uh, but I, I don't, you know, there will be some, got to cut down the trees, got to let it sit for a minute and watch, got to cut down, got to let it sit and watch. I don't want to just willy-nilly, you know, I'm man, so here it is, I'm doing this. Um, I'm going to be very judicious about how I... Um, put myself into this environment. Um, much of the trail that I was on, including my driveway, is a game trail apparently because there's deer track through there. And thank goodness for it because without the deer track, I would not have found my way through um, that, that twisty area up in there. So I, I need to become familiar with the woods. I need to, to Put myself into uh, the environment so that I can understand, you know, where things are, how the how the woods works, right? And, and then um, put myself in there and and uh, try to try to put myself into uh, um, harmony with uh, the environment. Now, the good news is that area in there. I don't know how easily or how well it showed up on the time lapse but um that area where i was showing you like the tops of the trees and so on and kind of the surrounding of it <clears throat> there were a couple of areas back in there that were very much like this right you got a whole bunch of spruce with beautiful aspen so it was very very similar to this area and it's warm back in here it's protected from the wind it's protected from the weather um other than just flat snow drop on top of it uh, <clears throat> but from from, you know, wind and the worst of things. Uh, th there are a lot of fallen trees back there, that down timber, I'd have to clear that up. And once again, get it into some ogre shape. Um, but that's, I, th I believe that that is harmony with the environment. And if I put myself off the game trail somewhat, um, those animals should feel comfortable just running right through once they get, get used to, oh yeah, there's a new smell here or something along those lines, at least I hope so. Um, but yeah, I <laughs> didn't think I was going to do any more work during the winter, but, uh, next time I come up here, I will bring that tape with me and I will try to get myself a, a marked trail so that, uh, when all of this come spring starts to flower again and everything's getting overgrown and so on, uh, I'll still be able to pick my way through and, and find that trail again. 
uh, and then obviously cut it open a little bit for the human because I am not a deer or a moose or whatever but I, I'll cut it open a little bit and uh, see if I can get up to the recreational portion of the land <laughs> uh, I, I'm really I'm hoping that I can get a line in the water uh, at least from shore. I don't know if I'll have a kayak and be able to get one back in there and all that jazz this come this coming year, but um, at least from shore, I'll be able to uh, hopefully uh, get a line in the water and and maybe catch a sunfish or something. Right. Actually, I'm looking forward to some pike. But in any case, uh, thank you for following me on my journey. I'm I'm actually pretty pleased with this trip, and um, I appreciate you watching. Keep eating fruit. Hey guys, so I'm on the way out and I came across this track. What the heck is this? It's over the top of my track coming in. There's one pretty clear something here, claw of some sort. I don't know what that is. I don't know how clearly you can see that. If you know what kind of track, but you can see this is going right. That's This is me on the way in. What the heck is that? That's dragging so, so close to the ground. Unless that's like a... I don't know, is that a raccoon or something that's dragging something? What is that? No idea what that is. <laughs> so, cool. Bonus. If you know what that is, put it in the comments. Thanks.